Dr. Gregory Orton here, three-time Olympic medalist and world champion in track and field. Thank you all for coming over to this channel. If you like the content, please give me a thumbs up. If you like the content and you think it's worthy of sharing, please go ahead and be generous and share. The world championship is on. There are so many things going on at this time. You don't want to take your eyes off any of these races or any of these competitions. You know, it's unfortunate that we're not able to show you clippings because of the strict copyright infringement. But nonetheless, we are going to break everything down so you have a clear picture of what is going on when you're not able to see. We're going to talk about the 400 meter, the 400 meters for men and a little bit on the women as well. We are pleased to say that three Jamaicans made it through to the next round. I have been waiting a long time to talk about this with excitement because this is my event. This is what I want to see. So the national champion, Sean Bailey, qualified from Heat 4. In fact, he had one of the fastest times going into the semi-final for tomorrow. He ran 44.98. His heat was won by Kirani James, who ran 44.91. And uh, a Japanese gentleman, Sato, finished third. There's a good thing about it. You could tell that Sean was trying to be as comfortable as he can and as, as comfortable as he could be. But he had to work the latter half of the race and that is never a good sign. But he has shown that his fitness is where it ought to be. So we're not worried too much about that. But what was impressive is Antonio Watson. He won his heat in 44.77. He looked very comfortable. He ran a very strategic race and he won his heat in 44.77. USA Hall finished second behind him in 44.86. Now, we have a third 400 meter runner, Zaniel Barnes. He ran out of lane 9. It was a very tough race for him. And he managed to finish 3rd in 45.05. But he was really pressing to get that 3rd spot. Nonetheless, he is through to the semi-final. Let us wait and see. I think Jamaica, the Jamaican men, have a very great chance of bringing home a medal. I think my money would be right now. And Antonio Watson, he has developed extremely well so far. And it goes to show that sometimes your heart might be in one thing, but your talent is telling you to do something else. He's dominating this 400 meter for the season. And it seemed like he could go all the way. If I was to bet on this, I, I would say that he seemed to be able to finish in the top two, if possible. And I am sure that would make him a happy camper again if you like the content if you like the information that you're getting please give me a thumbs up if not uh, still be generous and share i'm dr gregory horton thank you for tuning into this channel have a blessed day